Hey guys, I hope you're well. My name is Ibrahim and in this video I'll show you how to turn from this into this in 15 days. So the first step was the mask of the costume and which I got from the Raz and then the clothes which I tore up in the old shirt, it was close enough. Step number two, I set up a green screen and then did some cool moves. After removing the green screen, I exported the video as a PNG sequence and then imported a single frame into After Effects. Into Photoshop. And then I tried to make it look a little less like a cheap cosplay. And then I did the same for the others. After I saved the PNG, I used EVSYN to apply it to all the keyframes. After that, I hopped back into After Effects and I did a transition between the cheap cosplay and the little less cheap cosplay. Now it was time to edit the hair, so I hopped into Blender, created a 3D model using Keen Tools Face Builder, and I got this. Not bad. After the head model, now it was time to create the hair, which I created using the Blender Hair Particle System. I created three particle system, one for the long hair, one for the small strands and one for the long strand, as it is hard to style it in one hair particle system. After styling the hair, it was time to animate it using the wing force. I added a few keyframes and then I hopped into the graph editor and added a noise modifier to throw in some variation. And here's how the hair turned out. And if you want to animate the hair like this growing, just go to your particle system and animate the length from here. Start from 0 and go to 1. I imported the rendered hair into After Effects and then I dragged it onto my head. I wasn't moving my head that much on purpose because I didn't want to 3D drag the hair onto my head, which would be a pain in the butt. I did the same for the other shot and after that I realized that my eye was on the wrong side. So of course I had to redo all of this. Now I just flipped the video. For the 3D model I downloaded its 3D body and I just replaced the head with my head. But uh For the 3D environment I used the best technique I have which is throw stuff around and then it makes it. So uh, it didn't hit this one so I threw it in the trash and then I had to redo all of the stuff again. Okay. And then I created this. It's okay I never learn. I always do this. It just makes sense to me. I, I can never play in a shot before I jump into blender I just go in throw stuff around and then eventually I waste a few hours of my life I do that so you don't have to learn from my mistakes although sometimes you do have to you know just throw stuff around until it makes sense some of the animations I did on my own and some of them I use Mixmo which is a free website and you can animate any character you want and you can rig it for free as well so after exporting it as a Alembic file I imported it into Marvelous Designer for the cloth design and the cloth simulation. After the simulation was done, I exported it uh, as an Alembic and then I imported it into Blender. To create the cloth texture, I used Photoshop and then I used the UV editor in Blender to apply it to the clothes. The clothes were a bit flat, so I used a normal map of fabric to bump it a little. Uh, although you cannot really see it in the final render. I did the same for the, all of the animations, I fixed them and then exported it as Alembic and then imported it into Marvelous Designer and did the cloth sim and then did the texturing, did the hair for everything and then I did the camera animations and watched this epic montage. There's a big problem with rendering volumetric set cycles. As you can see here, if I zoom in, there's just too much noise and all the detail is lost. To fix that, I rendered the background separately. I also rendered the clothes, the body, uh, the kagune, and uh, the head separately. I created a mat with the body part and then I used the alpha and written map on the background layer to only show the details in the background. After that, I popped my head onto this VFX shot uh, and this was it for this shot. 
So after rendering everything, I used the same method to composite everything in After Effects and spice it up a little bit. So after the VFX compositing, it was time for the sound design and music. So I went to production kit and found a lot of music and sound design for my video. And now to add all of that sound design and music onto my video. After doing all of the sound design and now we are done. Finished. Tada! Before you watch the final video, consider subscribing as this video took a lot of time. And I would love to make more videos for you guys. Thank you so much and here's the final video.